Good morning, Taplings, and welcome back to Stardew Valley, where it is a bright and a beautiful Sunday morning. Right, let's check in on the television. What is the weather report going to be like for tomorrow? It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Marvellous. So what's the fortune teller got in store for us? Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Well, Lewis is going to be happy, considering today is his birthday. And the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir-fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Oh, that sounds delicious. Now breathe deeply. Ah, yes, that's good. Uh, you've learned how to cook stir-fry. Oh, if only I could cook. It would be grand. Uh, be all right. It's fine. Uh, right, we're going to grab the hoe. Maybe the axe as well? Yeah, sure, we'll grab the axe as well. Might do a little bit of choppery. Hello, Yoko. Right, let me get your wa your bowl watered. There we go. Gotta take care of the papa first and foremost. Most important job of the day, that one. Alright, I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful. I will do my level best. Right, okay, well, let's get the watering done, first and foremost. And while we're doing the watering, we're going to have to have a think of what we're going to do today. Now, today is Sunday, so we should see the uh, wandering merchant. Uh, that is somewhere I would like to go fairly early, but we've got very little money. So I think first we're going to need to make a little stop by PAs, because PAs will allow us to sell uh, our produce directly. Oh, my bad. Yoink. Speaking of produce, let's pick up that. Now, thankfully, the potatoes have just come in, because we are going to need to get uh, quite a lot of uh, money from this if we hope to buy any of the particularly wonderful things that the Wandering Merchant may actually have for sale. I think it's fairly unlikely we're going to get anything truly... Uh, truly marvelous right now or at least anything that we can use immediately like the uh, seeds but things to keep our eye out for potential birthday gifts things that we are not going to be able to get otherwise and uh, people's most loved gifts for example lewis would love uh, anything spicy that'll definitely be something that we can have our eyes open for also relatively soon we're gonna have Haley as well and she's going to uh, was it was it melons I believe we'll have to have to have a a uh, good think about that right uh, do I want to go for the rest oh actually you know what no let's go into town I can drop off my uh, my watering can though I'm not gonna need to water anything in the town let's leave that there thank you very much uh, we will drop off also the stones you don't need those either right of the things that we have right now do i have anything that lewis would particularly like you know what i'm gonna grab the daffodil uh we're gonna grab no i don't think there's anything there fishing as a backup i think lewis likes gems i i, I think i think they're more or less a universal like there are very few people who don't like gems uh, usually when it comes to things that, that are like universal likes or, or, or uh, loves and things like that, there might be one or two exceptions for whom it's a different uh, different response. Uh, for example, quartz. I'm pretty certain Lewis doesn't like quartz, but we'll see. Got a lot of items though. Let's go into town and see what we can do. Now, I would otherwise just uh, take this uh, topaz to Gunther. We're not going to. We're going to keep a hold of uh, of this for now, but we may uh, we may use that one for Lewis, because it, it's not going to be making me any money today, no matter what. So, let's go and see where Lewis is about. It is a Sunday. Where would uh, Lewis be on a Sunday, I wonder? It has been way too long. Way, way too long. Um, I'll accept that quest. I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it, but it shouldn't take me too long. Right. Hello. Let's have a quick chat. 
I got the, the those behind the counter blues. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. Uh, well, let's have a let's have a see if I can lift your spirits just a wee bit. Uh, you can have this. It's 100 day. I'll sell all of these potatoes. Uh, I'm gonna keep a hold of the parsnip. Now, I would very much like to purchase a lot of things. I could I could yeah. There's a couple of things here I could I could even use as gifts, but we're not going to not just yet. Hopefully, the money I've got on me is going to be enough. Uh, let's go and have a quick peek. No. No one to chat with. Right, so the next stop then is the Wandering Merchant. The Wandering Merchant may have something truly marvelous. Are you cold? You don't make sweaters like they used to. I am actually roasty toast. But, uh, again, I'm built for a more northern climb. I'm taking the day off. Well done. Relaxation is incredibly important. You should take the day off every now and then. Uh, hello. Um, the weather's interesting today, don't you think? Um, yeah, sure. Sorry. No, don't apologize. It, it is interesting. The weather is very interesting. And when you when you put your mind to it, you know you you can find all sorts of things interesting about the weather uh, beyond what it currently is. I mean, just try to fathom the enormous energy required to make rain. Not just that it is raining, but how much energy is involved in that process. How much energy is involved in stopping that process. It's marvellous to, to think about. The forces at work in nature. Hello! <sighs> oh, nothing, nothing amazing there. Hmm. I mean, you know, that's not bad, but... No, no, nothing particularly amazing there, sadly. Nothing particularly amazing. If I had the means of making seeds, uh, yeah, maybe. But no, I think I think we're good. I think we're good. Thank you very much, though. Right, I need to go and find Lewis then, wherever a Lewis may be, and have a quick chat. Um, d d do you want something? Uh, just to say hi. That's all. Oh, poor chat. Hey, eh, I'll 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 make, I'll use it. I'm sure it'll be useful for something. Eventually, I mean, I'm gonna need a lot of it eventually. But right now, this is fine. Ooh. Hello. If you hear any banging from inside my head, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. Well, here you go. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. I appreciate anyone who appreciates the uh, the bounties of nature. Right. While we're out here, I really should go by and uh, check in on oh, the bountiful harvest of nature that I was just talking about. There we go. Any more? A few more. It appears that uh, the random chance of placing down the uh, the leaks was, was kind of... Uh, sorry, the spring onions was kind of all over the place today. And not a lot of it down there sadly but that's fine that's fine this will do up to 61 again for me this is just an incredibly convenient energy source it's basically a battery this i don't mind selling because i'm not going to have a vast amount of these but the basic spring onions is i've i've got an inventory slot which just contains huge amounts of fuel for me so that one I am probably not gonna sell. I'm probably just gonna use that as, as my go-to energy source for the mines. Where on earth is Lewis? Let's go to one of his other haunts up by the tree. <laughs> Hello. I sense you've been spending some time in the old community center. It's good to know someone's taking care of the place. Oh, you're welcome, mate. Uh here you go. You remembered my birthday, thank you. This is great. I didn't even tell you my birthday. This is amazing. You're awesome, Ava. He, his eyes seemed to say. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sounds of the sea make going to sleep a lot easier. Aww. Here you go. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're more than welcome, truly. I need to go and speak with Abigail. Oh, it's a nice day, isn't it? It is a nice day. Oh man, I've been pushing off my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all nighter. Well, I used to do that all the time. I used to do that all the time. In fact, I would generally 
only work at night. All right, next stop, Clint's. I would like to see what these marvelous shields hold. Also, mm, more stones. It's fine, they will be useful in building stuff eventually. Hello. I would like to process some geodes. All three of them, please. Clay. Oh, oh. A thunder egg. And some more copper. I may actually be at the point now where I'm going to be able to use that copper to make myself a wee furnace, which would be marvellous. Now, let's go and donate this to the museum. Gamba, I have a present for you. Hello, mate. Donate to the museum. I would have had two, but alas. Uh, let's stop putting the gems in this central one here. Right. Next up, a quick visit to the beach. And then we're going to race home. I've got many, many things I would like to do. I, I do want to catch some, some fish, but eh, right now, not the highest priority for me. I would like to purchase some more uh, seeds from Pierre and then get those planted in the farm. Oh, nothing down here, okay. Well, fair enough. That was a bit of a wasted trip, but eh, it's fine, you know what? You know what, just getting, getting the opportunity to listen to the surf Listening to the gulls. It was nice. Hey, Myro. Hi. Do you have fun working on the farm? Yes, I do. I'll generally be able to find the fun in doing any kind of work. Well, that's good, isn't it? It is. It is. I'll turn any any task into a game. And then I'll have fun doing it. Hi, Avak. Hello, Emily. Do you raise sheep in your barn? You can turn their wool into beautiful bolts of cloth. You'll need a loom, though. You can make them yourself if you know the crafting recipe. I... That was that was the, the biggest hint ever. It's like, so, you know that thing I really, really love love in, in like more in the whole world? You can make it yourself. Go figure. It's marvelous, isn't it? Ah, uh, Emily. Though, of all of, all of the people in Stardew Valley, Emily is the one... Oh, damn it, I forgot to go to Piers because I was thinking about Emily. Uh, Emily is the one that I would uh, the most believe that would actually sincerely just be sharing information without any ulterior mot motive. It's like, isn't it marvellous? It's like, yeah, it is, actually. Truly marvellous. Hello, Haley. My sister's so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. Well, I, your sister's lovely, though. There you go. <gasps> For me? Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, at least you weren't directly insulting me this time. But think better of your sister. Not that being weird is... Ah, poop. Did it to myself. I did it to myself. Oh, well. You know what? On the plus side, had I gone to Pierre's, it's, it's remotely possible I would have missed speaking with Haley. So, you know, again, there, there's there's good in every situation. Even the ones that on on the, the initial cursory glance over look like they, they were bad. But they were bad outcomes. No. You've just got to find the good in it. Right. Okay. So, let's drop all this off. And yes. Ha 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 ha. We now have all that I require to make a furnace. Truly the greatest of things. Um, now, where are we going to place these for now? Let's... Oh, I can place them down here. That's grand. Excellent, in fact. Uh, sure. Let's pop one there. And then, well, I don't have enough uh, ore to put in there, sadly, but it'll be fine. Right, uh, the parsnip can... Well, I can sell the parsnip, actually. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pop you in down here. Don't need that for now. And that spring onion can go as well. It's a little bit late for us to hit the mines now, unfortunately. But you know what we can do? And what I think I would like to do. I spend a little bit of time clearing up the farm. You know what? This is one of the things that I prefer to do on a lazy day. Like when it's raining and I don't have to use all my energy up in the morning on watering plants. But, you know, it's not, not too bad. Use a furnace to smelt a copper ingot. I will certainly try. I've got two days to take care of the slimes. Well, that's not a uh, not going to be a problem at all, I don't think. Uh, hello, Yoko. Are you having fun? I hope so. Right, let's get to work. 
Maybe I should actually have my scythe with me as well. Uh, I need to keep an eye out for the different types of slimes and find which ones produce the guaranteed seeds. Yoko's having a lot of fun. Either that or Yoko is is trying to tell me something. I'm assuming that Yoko is just having fun. There we go. Get rid of you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep a, a very close eye on the the weeds that I can. Now, I, I do apologize for misspeaking a, a, an episode or so ago when I was talking about uh, using a sword to, to cut down grass. In my head, I was, I, I was thinking about weeds, but yes, I absolutely said grass. My bad. There we go. Oh, I should gather those mushrooms while I'm uh, thinking about it. I mean, that's one of the really nice things about the uh, about the forest farm. Is you get all of this extra forage. Yoink. And yoink. There we go. Oh, that might actually mean... Mm. I'm still not sure I've forgiven the bats. I'm really not sure I've forgiven the bats after the last series. The mushroom cave is so much more productive than the bats. But the bats are so much more cute than the mushroom cave. Uh, it's a difficult, difficult decision. It's a surprisingly difficult decision. But since I'm going to have forage anyway, as it is a... Uh, as it is a forest map, maybe I should go with the bats? Uh, it's, it's a hard choice. It really is. A really hard choice. Um, I'm gonna drop off the morale. We'll keep the other one just in case we've got a bundle that needs it. And like I said, I would like to try and keep hold of uh, an example of each of the different uh, items that I might find on the farm. Uh, just to be certain with that. Just to, to be certain that I've got everything I'm gonna need. Now I'm not gonna take it. Uh, take out these trees at all. We're gonna be keeping those in hopes that we will then be able to use that to tap and have a uh, ready supply of uh, of um, maple syrup and actually what, what are the other, other things? Because from what I understand from re reading the patch notes, you can now get sap from a tree tap, but you need a very specific type of tree. But either way, uh, we should be uh, be able to get all three different items of produce out of that without too much of an issue. There we go. There we are as well. Uh, sure, we'll get rid of you as well. It's been a somewhat productive day. No matter what. There we go. Oh, my energy is constantly low. That being said, I was told that I can lay down in the bed without sleeping. I just have to select not to end my day. And if I do so, I will recover energy, which is uh, actually quite a quite a awesome uh, bit of advice there. Damn it. Now that my energy is full of too many things, I've got to go back anyway. Uh, Scallywax. Right. Well, let's drop these off. On the plus side, though, did get a new seed. Right, so let's drop off a little bit there, pop you in there, go grab my watering can. Uh, there we are. I also got a little bit of advice in regards to uh, the home. And something I can do with the plants in there. So let me grab the fiber in the wood. Let's see about making some additional... Oh, I need the sap, sorry. It isn't fiber. There we go. Uh, some additional lighting. Let's get two torches for now. And if I use this right behind... Oh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely wonderful. I approve enormously. Can I grab you? I can. Pop that. Actually, I can just turn that on. Why am I even worrying about that? Never mind. We'll pop this one behind. But that little torch down by the tree there, that's that's gorgeous. 
and an amazing bit of advice. I could perhaps move this one down. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Pop you there. Pop a torch behind it. Lovely. That actually looks amazing. Thank you so much for that advice. Uh, we do need some torches elsewhere for now, though. Let's grab another five, I think. There we go. Now, we don't necessarily need a torch right there, but I'll pop one down anyway. And I would like some torches behind these trees, since these are important ones that I don't cut down. Popping the torch just behind them gives that lovely glow. I'm going to be doing that everywhere now. Do you have any idea what you've done? My lord. Uh, right, there we go. I think we should be able to turn in for the night at this point. Let's drop off that extra torch. Not going to need it. The scythe. Uh, in fact, let's drop off all of the tools, except the watering can, because we are going to need that on the morrow. All right, no style, you okay. And it's time for sleep. Okay, not awful returns. 232 gold. Now, we do need to make use of this and actually get some seeds today. Otherwise, ugh. Right, let's have a quick gander. Uh, living off the land. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Let's talk fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. This is true. Uh, let's have a look at well, what the uh, spirits are like. Are they mildly perturbed? That's a bit of a shame. Would have been better to go down the mine yesterday, then. And it's going to be another beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Right, let's turn off the fire. We don't want that uh, going while we're out and about. Actually, we'll, we'll check on the mail in a moment. Yoko comes first. Hello, Yoko. Now we can check on the mail. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm and serve as a convenient place to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 stones and a thousand gold and you're ready uh, when you're ready for it. I have never built a well in this game. I have never felt the need to have a well anywhere on the farm. I've j I just generally top the watering can up before I start watering. It's, it's not that much of, a, of, a, of an issue for me, really. That I've found. There we go. And we'll get this little patch done. Then we'll move over and do all of the uh, the beans. I'm probably not going to put place anything there because it'll be so out of whack with the rest of it. Uh, that being said, if I did it early, then it that would be the only time where it would be worth doing. There we go. I do need to get a lot more uh, items though and plant those as soon as possible. We've got a th over a thousand gold, so that will be a decent amount. None of the seeds that I can buy from the Wandering Merchant will be of particular use to us in this season. So I'm not going to have to worry about that one. There we go. Alright, that's all the watering done for now. So, with a parsnip and a potato, let's head on over and say hello to Pierre. But before we do, let's quickly have a look at the community center. Uh, I need a leak. That's the only thing I need for the forage bundle. I need a fair bit of stuff for the construction bundle. The wild medicine bundle. Well, hops I can't take care of. The fiddled fern I can't take care of. And the purple mushroom, I, I probably need the mushroom cave for that one. To do that in any kind of reasonable time frame. The fall forage bundle, I'll, I'll sort that out in fall. I don't need to worry about that one just yet. Um, the summer forage bundle, exactly the same. The winter forage bundle, exactly the same. It's only these three that I need to be concerned with for the time being. Uh, should I grab my fishing rod? I could. But I could also just go down the mine. Even though it's going to be a bit less less luck. Um, tempting. And you know what else I just realized I could do? I could leave the tools in the chest that makes sense for them, like I'm doing with the fishing rod. 
yeah i kind of like that idea I'm not gonna lie I, I i pretty pretty much like that idea i'm gonna grab the daffodils we're gonna bring those with i don't need the watering can let's drop that off and yeah okay okay i've convinced myself uh, if I bring... Ooh, I just had a thought. Let's plan ahead, shall we? Let us plan ahead. I would like a chest. Just one for now is all I need, which is just as well, because that's good, all I can make. We're going to bring a chest with us all the way over to the mine. And we're going to place that chest in the mine entrance so that I can drop stuff off before I go down the mine. Yoink. Another daffodil. Marvellous. Okay. Uh, well, actually, hmm. well, there's no no reason for me to go there yet. There's going to be reason for me to go over to the the road in the future. Maybe on a rainy day when I I don't have to take care of the uh, the plants early on, then I will use that. But for now, that's not too big of a concern for me. Right, what have we got coming up on the calendar? Uh, Vincent's birthday in two days. That's not too much of a concern. Uh, should have something for that by the time we get there. Uh, running low on a cave carrot. Mm, I don't know, especially on a low luck day, whether I'm going to find a cave carrot. So I'm not going to accept that one just yet. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Oh, I'm glad that you think so. I'm sure Pierre is extremely glad you think so. Welcome. If you're looking for seeds, you've come to the right place. Well, what I am actually looking for... Uh, actually, how much is this by? Uh, this uh, 2,000. Maybe... Maybe in a bit. Uh, for the time being, though, I could just honestly just grab loads more potato seeds. Uh, sure, let's grab 10 potato seeds and then as many cauli cauliflower seeds as I can. And that'll be good for now. Thank you very much, Pierre. Hello, money. I love animals, Mr. Avak. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Well, I'm fairly certain it is a guarantee that we're going to be good friends based only on that. Now, got all these daffodils. And keeping an eye out for someone to give them to. I mean, I could have given one to Marnie, actually. I should have been thinking about it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I've ever tried giving a daffodil to Marnie. I'm not sure if she would appreciate it or not. Hello. Have a nice walk? I did. Yeah. Hey, I heard that Lewis showed you around the community centre. It'd been great if you could fix that place up. It used to be a really nice building. Then why did you all let it go to ruin then? There you go. Thank you. This might come in handy. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it will come in handy. Whenever I'm struggling with technical problems, I always take a walk. It's surprising how much of a change of scenery can help. Uh, that's true. Would you like a daffodil? Thanks. I mean, you didn't dislike the daffodil, so that's a good sign. Now, uh, let's have a quick peek up here. Any wiggly worms? Ha 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 ha! A leak! Marvellous! Perfect, in fact. So that's the uh, forage bundle taken care of. I approve. I could also give this to... to uh... Oh, we've got two leaks! Double marvellous. There you go. A leak for you. This is a great gift. Thanks. You're welcome. Mate. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. Anything else down here? No. Okay, well, we're heading down into the mine then. I'm going to have quite a lot of things on me at the time, but uh, I can always leave what I get in the mine up in the mine. I don't need to take it with me all the way back. Uh, let's pop this down by the door. Because that's more than likely where I'm going to drop things off at when I come back out. Right. Everything else? We the Ah. Oh, I didn't bring my sword. Well, okay. Look, I had a good plan. It was undeniably a good plan. It's because I was umming and ahhing on whether I was going to go to the... Uh, <laughs> whether I was going to go to the mine or not because it was a bad luck day. But, yes... Uh, it'll be so much better when I've got a bigger backpack. On the plus side, again, looking looking on the bright side, no such thing as a, a mistake, just happy accidents. We get to walk along this path, which means an opportunity to find more wiggly worms, or, as the case may be, wild horseradish. So, there we go. Worked out well in the end. 
But yes, once there is forage down there, um, berries on the uh, berry bushes, we'll head in that direction and uh, pick up a couple of things. Right, okay. Well, while we're here, then I may as well plant the uh, produce here. There we go. And let's get, I think all of this is cauliflower. Uh, we're gonna need a little bit more. Uh, pop these down there. And then start placing. But it, it really doesn't matter where I place these at this point. The main thing is that we place them down. Oops, that was completely out of position, but sure. There we go. I guess what I could do is just allow that side, that little bit there to uh, return to wilderness. There we go. Uh, drop that off. Well, I guess I'll bring the daffodil with me. Again, just in case I spot anyone who would like it. Going to need some fertilizer. Thankfully, you can place fertilizer down on seeds, but only while they're seeds. And then these should all grow a little bit faster. There we are. Now, the next bit of cash that we get... I, I'm tempted to just wait. I should really refill my watering can before I put it back. I'm really tempted to wait until I have enough money to buy the backpack. But at the same time, there's a part of me that, that is tempted to just keep spending the money until I I just happen to generate that much cash all at once and then use it, you know, and, and until that time happens, not to worry too much about it. Let's get a bit of uh, fertilizer down there. There we go. Sorted. Now then. We can, at this stage, go down the mine. I'm going to need to grab the, the sword with us, but we should be good. I can also drop off the, the, the leak in the forage bundle. So, yeah, we're, we're just doing things in a slightly different order than I would have otherwise. Did you spot the squirrel? I totally spotted the squirrel. I haven't seen a, a, a red squirrel in quite some time. I've seen plenty of grey squirrels around, but we sell a few over-the-counter medicines at the clinic. Feel free to stop by if you're feeling exhausted. I know that being a farmer is pretty tiring work, just don't overdo it. I will try not to overdo it. I will certainly try, but there are no promises. In fact, there are... As much as I know you're not going to like to hear this, there are fairly big guarantees that I'm going to overdo it. it it's, it's just the way it's going to be, so we just need to accept this now. That way we can move on. All the sooner. Okay. Let us see what gifts we have in store for the forest bundle. Tonk. Bundle complete. And we get 30 spring seeds. Ah, oh, marvellous. I'm going to have so much extra work. Okay. I'm going to have so much extra work. Now, the fish bundles are where I suspect we're going to see the most variance from the randomization. Okay, spring crops bundle. Well, you know, I've got instances of all of these growing, I'm fairly certain. Brewing, rare crops, summer crops, I mean, fall crops. They're all more likely going to be much the same. Squid ink, algae row. Oh, sorry, algae. Algae row, yes, because, you know, algae lays eggs. Uh, everyone knows that, that an algae bloom is just a metaphor for uh, a pretty good time. Uh, algae row, for the algae, of course, not for anyone else. But, uh, you know, it's just the way it is. No, <laughs> algae row. Well, I don't know, maybe maybe row that is, that is found in algae. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, wow, blobfish. I didn't even know we had blobfish. Master Fisher's Bundle. Okay. Uh, the crab pot bundle, that's pretty normal. Right now, I'm just, just glancing through, so I have a memory of what we see there. I already have a couple of the items that we're going to need for all of that, which is pretty cool. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> well, I know what I'm going to be uh, naming this episode, at least if I remember. People are going to be looking at this episode, like, row? What? What? on earth goes on in this episode. Uh, well, Maru helps me on the lab sometimes. She's a good kid. 
I know. I mean, don't ask me how I know. I just get this feeling from a time that was another time. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Right, let's drop off all of the things we're not going to need and everything else we do need. Ha! Ah, finally, we're hitting the mine. Not, not literally. Uh, actually, thinking about it, I shouldn't go down this way. We've already unlocked level five, and we're not going to see that many slimes in the first couple of levels. They're actually generally quite, quite easy on you. So it is better for us if we want to hit, uh, want to uh, get the slimes, for us to go down a little bit further. Hello, oh, you're a fast one, aren't you? There we go. You just hang tight there, thank you very much. Already a way down. Very nice, but let's have a look if there are other slimes around. Are there any barrels over there? No. Okay, fair enough. Let us head back then. Get a little bit of extra mining on the way. And, well, you know what? I will grab the uh, bug meat now because we will be able to make use of that later. Uh, unfortunately, this is a bit of a darker area. Thankfully, not so dark that we needed a torch. No. Ouch. Okay, fair enough. I am just hemorrhaging health there. No, nope, no. Nope. Be gone. Uh, that was that was just messy. Now, I should have thought about picking up that uh, bug meat because now my inventory has bug meat in it. Which is a bit of a botch. But oh well. Oh, there we go. Any more slimes back here? Need to get some more slime rather urgently. Uh, let's gobble down some of the spring onions. Also, a bunch of more copper, which is great because that's going to allow us to complete another quest as we do need to make a, uh, a copper bar. Two or four green slimes are defeated. So I just need to get another two. We've got plenty of time for that, though. I shouldn't shouldn't struggle too much in that regard. There we are. Just going to go straight for the copper at this point. There we go. Uh, I could spend some time <clears throat> hoeing that ground in the hopes that maybe I would find a uh, a cave carrot, but odds are fairly good that even if I did. I wouldn't have time to give it back before I need to head to bed. I'm in the caves. There's a better than average chance that I'm going to spend all my time down here. Nope. But damn it. I was slimed again. Oh, my lord. I need to use block. Haha. I forgot about that. Even though I've been randomly blocking people for a while now. <laughs> Just like, oh yes, block to the face. <sighs> One day. One day. I will get better at this game. May take me a while, but it'll happen eventually. Nope. Step it. Thank you. There we go. Oof. Done. Now I've got to talk to Lewis. Oh no, I've also got to talk to Lewis. Well, I may need to head out early then and head straight to the saloon. I'm on level 7. I would like to get down to level 10 if I can. Ultimately though, I did come down here not to necessarily advance in the mine, but more to complete the slime quest, so we'll have a little wander around, just see what we can. I do need to kill more slimes for the uh, adventurous quest anyway. Ouch. Please, no. There we go. Aha! Thank you very much. Uh, let's have a look around. See, the problem is, is, is by going any deeper, I've effectively committed. I could have walked away at 7, but now I'm on 8. It's going to be a lot harder for me to walk away. I've, I've trapped myself. Uh, how much time do I have on that quest? No. All right, then. Fair enough. Final day. Final day means I need to give priority to getting back to Lewis. Okay, let's go. Leave the mine. And let's quickly uh, drop some things off we'll pick up the the slime later uh, the bug meat can also be picked up later and uh, there's a better chance that i'm going to see someone I, I could leave the sword here 
It's the only place I use the sword. Oh, what a clever, clever idea. Uh, all right. I approve. In fact, with that, well, I'll, I'll leave the button there as well. That's fine. Ah. A thunderous cloud. How on earth did I approach from this direction? I should have approached from that direction. Grr. Sounds like those raccoons are back again. Filthy varmints. <sighs> you turned up at the right moment, son. Could you do an old man a favor? Could you go around the corner and scare off those raccoons for me? They've been causing a real mess. Thanks. Make sure you give them a good scare so they never come back. It was me. I'm sorry. I find a lot of hot, fresh food in these cans. Stuff that will go to waste if I don't take it. Do you think there's something wrong with what I'm doing? <sighs> See? See, you say it's going to go to waste, but will it? Nothing really does. Everything eventually gets back to the planet one way or another. It enters the cycle again. It just takes longer. But, you know, obviously, you know, this this is the whole, you know, fruit salad and tomatoes thing again. Yes, it, it might eventually go back, and nothing is ultimately wasted, but in a practical sense, in the here and now, that's not what Lewis is saying. But, I mean, one thing I've, I've not actually picked up on before is the fact that George says raccoons are back again and they make a mess. Maybe if he just didn't make a mess. Maybe if he just took the food out and put everything back in the in the in the trash can. It is a shame for food to get to waste, and I it's a particular burden. I hate seeing it, especially, especially, especially if that food <clears throat> is meat. Something had to die for that, you know. It's the same for plants, though. Ultimately, you know. If, if you're eating, if you're eating a parsnip, well, that parsnip was growing quite happily, and and now it's not. Now it's now it's cooked. It died. You know, it 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 was 100% alive before you killed it in order to eat it. Don't think that just because it's a plant that you didn't murder it. We we tend to apply that to to, to only things that move around and make noises when you kill them. But no, no, this was alive too. So no, I I hate seeing any any kind of food waste. At all. It is a shame for food to go to waste, but maybe just be a little bit more subtle when you're rooting through the trash. Thanks, Abak. I know you're an open-minded person. I feel good about what I'm doing. I'm not harming anyone. You're not. You are disturbing them, though. You can go home. I promise I won't rummage in George's can anymore. You can tell him you scared off the raccoons for good. I'd prefer to explain what will happen, but, you know, sure. And this is where I took the secret tunnel. I'm down a ladder and through a maze of corridors, and I end up back at my farm. Wait! I know what you were doing, Linus. If you need food, just ask. I don't want anyone in Pelican Town to go hungry. Yeah, I've got a basket of zucchini fritters for you. Just make sure you dip them in my spicy marinara. Go on, take it. See, the other thing is, I don't even necessarily get the impression that Linus is doing it because he's hungry. Linus is doing it so that the food doesn't go to waste. If Linus was doing it simply because he was hungry, it's an entirely different matter again. It's such a complicated one, though. But I think I may be behind the mayor at this point. Can I check in here? Ah, dread. I did hear someone use the door. Am I first enough? Double dread. Yeah. Oh, well. Looks like we're not going to be able to uh, take care of that particular quest this time. A big shame, but oh well. Yep, I'm a blacksmith. 
My father was also a blacksmith. My grandfather was a blacksmith as well. I bet you can't guess what my great-grandfather was. Um, sarcastic joke. No. A blacksmith. How do you know? Well. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Oh, because I want to get to know you. That's usually why people talk to each other. Nothing like a sip of the good stuff to warm these old bones. Hello, Emily. Have I told you Haley and I are sisters? Strange, isn't it? Um, I mean, you do have very divergent personalities, but... Good evening. Can I get you anything? Uh, no. Not right now. But thank you very much for asking. Uh, uh, that is a shame that we, we missed Lewis there, because uh, he will be unhappy about the fact that we uh, we failed to complete that quest. I should have checked whether it was last day or not. That's on me. Oh, well, though. Again, we had an opportunity to catch the event with Linus there. Right, now, 30 seeds. Do I have the energy to plant all of these seeds? Uh, yes, I should do. If I gobble down some food. Chomp. While I'm over here, I should uh, drop off a couple of items as well. Oh. Chomp. I'll try and plant as many as I can, just so I can get them uh, get them growing all the sooner. Also, 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 let's get some uh, some copper on the go. Uh, I'm going to need all of these. Drop off the forage. Uh, the slime into the monster chest. There we go. All right. Let's get all of this down first and foremost. Then ten of these. Um, oh, wow. That happened really quickly. All right. I'll pop in another load. And um, Oh, that's that's right. The different the different ores uh, smelt at different speeds. Based more or less on their rarity, from what I recall. Uh, so, copper's gonna get uh, smelted super fast, but everything else, uh, every everything uh, moving upwards is gonna take inc increasingly longer. I think iron takes the better part of a day. Let's grab a little bit more there. Do we have enough time? We should do. Just to get these down. We are pushing it a little bit, though. Yeah, I think we're pushing it a little bit too much. So let's just try and get what we've got done. Double you down. And back to the watering can. Do I have enough time to place down some fertilizer? That is a very good question. No, I don't think so. We're going to head to bed. No style, Yoko. Uh, I could have perhaps pushed it, but made three hundred and ten gold on uh, on farming, two parsnips and three potatoes, and that is the end of the day. There we go. We're on to day nine of spring, and we will find out what tomorrow is going to offer us in terms of weather in the next episode. I really do hope you've enjoyed today, though, and will be joining me for the next as ever. I do look forward to any of your feedback down in the comments below. But until next time, do take care.